To use the CR horse halter as a cross tie, first of all, have two very strong posts. You don't want a tie because you don't want to cause an accident. You want your horse to learn from this something good, not something bad. So first of all, make sure your posts are solid, something six to eight feet wide. Um, tie uh, a rope on one side and then attach the CR horse halter uh, lead line to the other side. And to teach your horse to obey on this, you loosen and you tighten and you loosen and you tighten. That's how he learns to hold still. This horse is very, very good at this already. He knows. You need it no. behind this part. Yes. Right here. Right here is completely safe. Okay. Right here, the horses no punch you, okay. no bite you, no okay. kick you. You stay here, danger. You stay too far here, danger. Okay. Oh, yeah. You stay here, working all the time here, that is completely safe for you. He don't care what kind of crazy tiger is in your horse. That is special, safe place to you work. Now this mare is um, very shy around her ears. So, and this is the very first time she's been in the cross tie. Uh, the posts here are about eight feet wide, which are actually probably a little, uh, a little far apart. Okay, and he's got the CR horse halter on her, and um, he's gonna tighten it as tight as he can right at first and she's going to feel the tightness of it and pull back. Now this is where you don't want to be in front of your horse. Some horses when they feel this will will rear in the air and they could strike you when you first do this. So don't stand in front of them. She kind of gets off to the side here um, which is which is okay for her. Okay puts are pretty tight and he's putting on the hakima right now and she doesn't like it up around her ears so you'll see her fight again but she quickly finds out she can't get away now if you have a real fighter you want to be very careful that you're not in front of them again you want you don't want it to get uh, pawed with the front feet okay now he tightens her up and um, puts it on and off of her a few times. Then he loosens it up and lets her think. And he'll try to put the halter on her again. If she's nice, then he leaves it loose. But if she pulls a little bit, he'll tighten it up again. And you watch her here. She's thinking about fighting. So he tightens her back up. Now, this, she didn't fight anymore. This was all she did. This uh, gelding here has learned to fight, and he hates his ears clipped. And the lady that owns him hasn't been able to clip his ears, so we put the, El uh, the CR horse halter on him. Now, what Alberto's going to do right now is show him how it feels. Uh, so you pull straight down, and it tightens his nose back to his neck and gives him a little feel for it. And he, he's a fighter. He's, he's trying to fight. He's trying to pull a little bit. And uh, Alberto's showing you that the, the pressure's on his nose and on his neck right here. And the pole strap is actually loose. So he's trying to get away. He thinks maybe he can work his, work his way away from Alberto and get away from this pressure. And he keeps the pressure on here. He wants him to find out about the pressure before he puts him in the cross tie. Now this horse has never been in a cross tie before, so you'll see how he reacts, being a little more of a fighter. See the little rare he made? We've got to be careful. If your horse does this, then um, the first thing you may want to do is wrap him around a post somewhere so he, when he does pull back, he gets the full force of it before you put him in a cross tie. 
Okay, now we're going to put him in the cross tie so you can see what he does, and, and he does fight a little bit. Okay, ties the extra lead rope on the left side. These posts are probably four and a half feet wide, maybe five. Uh, it's, it's a pretty good distance. Okay, now he's showing you where to put it. You snap it between the center rings on the halter and the knot so it slips back and forth. Now the CR horse halter uh, lead is tied to the other one. He's going to, okay, he's pulling it this way. Now when he pulls sideways on it, it tightens up the neck and the nose again. All right, he's, tight, he's shortening that side a little bit. He wants him more in the center. horse suspects something's going on here. <laughs> All right. Now, he's having, he's going to have an assistant hold this rope on this side because if this horse panics too much, then he can loosen up and give him some relief. Okay. Pull the neck rope down his neck real as far as he could. Now this horse is throwing a little fit. You definitely don't want to be in front of a horse when you, very first time you put him in a cross tie. Stand off to the side. Okay. Now we're going to clip his ear, so Alberto wants him tight. He doesn't want him to fight. He's learned to fight. Now, remember, this is the first time he's ever been in the cross tie. He's going to fight because he has to find out he can't get away when he hears the clippers. It's... See? Okay. He's, he's going to fight. Be sure you're off to the side when you work with your horse. It tight. It doesn't take but about ten minutes, and this horse decides he doesn't want to move anymore and put pressure on himself. <laughs> Here we go. This is a total turnaround for this horse. He doesn't like it, but he's cooperating. Now after this, and we, we don't really show it, he loosens the halter up and puts him again with a totally loose halter. Um, and I'm willing to bet that the next time he does it, that he cooperates. Now everything's loose on this horse now. Um, he's still got the, the neck pressure rope pulled down on his neck, but um, the lead, leads are both loose. See how loose it is? And the pole strap is totally loose. 